deck the halls with bars for deadlifts. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to grow your biceps. Fa la 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 la. Lunges, pulls, and squats and pushes. Fa la 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 la. Dad bots have no rolls or mushes. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I won't quit my day job. This is Alex Van Houten with Defining Dad Bod. You're listening to Season 3, Episode 26 of Defining Dad Bod, to an episode called Hope. This episode will be short and sweet, and I hope meaningful. What you're about to hear is a poem that I wrote for a friend of mine about a year ago. I'm an amateur poet at best, but because of the nature of this challenging year and the struggles that we have faced and some of us have been beaten down by, the contents of this poem seem especially relevant. I've shared it with a few clients, and it seems right to share it here. This poem is best heard while walking in the cold winter evening, just after the sun goes down, but not before the light fades completely. And if you're fortunate enough to live in a place where folks have decorated with lights on their trees and their houses, it might make the words that much more impactful for you. And if you're not much for poetry, I apologize I don't have something better for you this year. I'll simply say, Merry Christmas to you and yours. Thank you so much for listening to Defining Dad Bod, and I look forward to catching you in the new year. Here goes nothing. Hope by Alex Van Houten The night was cold and the trees were colder. I walked through the sleepy neighborhood. A nipping breeze would have shaken the leaves on the darkened bough. But they were gone, all gone, leaving nothing but darkened branches, reaching like black bones burnt to ashes, cinders in the twilight. The sun set quietly, this day shorter than the one before, all the earth dying. A woman had just passed in her sleep, dead, gone, slumber eternal, never to awaken. Dark eyes with no glint or mirth, her deeds unspoken, her family lines broken, her need for rebirth gone forever. A vapor, a dream. Would the land around me die also, without a trace of ever having lived at all? The days shrink shorter and colder. The darkness sinks deeper and heavier. All hope and goodness and grace that once lived so bright and warm seems lost from this place. I am hungry again. Empty bones marching onward, will they ever be filled? A shiver shakes me from my thoughts, and I look up. And though the light of day is gone, The stars are twinkling overhead. (sighs) Breathe it in. Empty no more. There is a light in the black, frozen depths. It shines tender, glowing, unyielding. Hope. I forget so easily. Hope. Line the houses with it, drape the evergreens, burn the candles and adorn the manger. The deepest, darkest, coldest time, but some of us still cling, ever faithful in remembering. Hope is. The night will not last forever. The winter over the land will end. The darkness, bottomless but brief, branches barren for a season of grief. And I, with all the earth, and filled again. Hope is alive. The sun shall rise on frosted ground, the ice shall melt anew, and all that once was dead and frozen shall rise again in you, alive again and wet with dew. Hope is alive in you. Can it be? 
Ye hold will pass away, and while I trudge the dimmed path, I look for the light inside of me. Behold, all is becoming new. Can the dead rise again? Can we live by more than bread? Can this forsaken, thirsty land be more than stony and dead? The song of my heart is stuck in my head. The sun is coming up again. I turn and face it and run, while the melody inside joins the harmony ahead and pulls me pounding as a drum. Hope springs eternal, the naive proclaim, but from where does it spring? Wisdom knows. It bubbles forth when honest, bold, and forward goes my mind, my gaze, my aim. When signs of hope rot foul and dim, and I march on a lifeless skull wrapped inside my skin, I choose to turn from death to life. And there ends the night, the wintry blight, and returns the light, burning hot and bright. Perhaps it's not inside of me, passed down from those before, perhaps a soft reflection bouncing back from what's in store, an echo from outside of me, nothing less, nothing more. Does it truly matter where the light is born? At this point, I simply don't care. All I know is that it's there, and I choose to make the narrow journey my norm. And the flicker, the flame that shines ahead, thaws my spirit and warms my soul and makes me more alive than dead, moving onward toward the goal. So run, old bones, away from darkness and into glorious light. The past is gloomy behind you, but the future beckons bright. And the sleep of loss and slumber will not be the end of me. For once my heart, my eyes were blind, but now with hope I see. Blessed art thou, O Lord Most High, whom my stalwart soul shall praise, running on and grasping for the hope, the light, the life that shineth from thy face. Hope is alive for me.